Hi there and welcome to a rainy Copenhagen. Uh, my name is Mark and I will be the captain flying today. Um, today we're going to take a flight from uh, uh, Copenhagen uh, Kastrup Airport to uh, Newcastle. Um, as you can see here I'm flying the 737-800 PMDG NGX uh, with the Scandinavian Airlines uh, livery. So, um, welcome again, and uh, just uh, follow me into the cockpit, and I will show you how to set up the aircraft for departure. Okay, so welcome to the cockpit. As you can see, as always, the aircraft is totally shut down. Um, so I'm going to show you all the procedures to make the aircraft ready for departure and the whole flight. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing, battery switch, and then emergency exit light to armed. I'm gonna go to the FMC ground connection, like so. And now you can see the ground power available has illuminated, so I'm press on. And now we have electricity in the aircraft coming from this box over here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do the IRSs on, should say aligned and aligned here, like so. Okay, so as always, I'm using the uh, FS2 crew, so I'm gonna configure him so he can get out and do his. Thing. I'm using a, a crew region of EU. If you guys are interested, let's start let's setting start up. Setting. Okay. Okay, so he's gonna go through his stuff there. So I'm just waiting for the uh, uh, the LED screens to lit up. Okay, so here we are. The LEDs are lit up. So you can see here on the FMC that it says enter iris position. So I'm gonna do that. So pass in it. You can see here set iris pass. So I press next page and GPS longitude. And then paste it in here. You can see they lit up the primary display and the navigation display. So, reference airport, where are we? Echo. Kilo Charlie Hotel. Gate Bravo 5. You don't have to enter the gate number, but I'm doing it anyway. Route, okay, we're flying from Echo Kilo Charlie Hotel, Copenhagen, to Echo November Golf Tango. Oh, sorry. Echo Golf November Tango. Like so. And our flight number will be 543. We will be taking off from runway 04 right. So we're gonna make a right left turn um, after departure. Okay, so I'm now gonna put in um, the route. So here we have the flight plan. I already put in the flight plan. So we got. I'm just gonna put them in. and execute. Okay, so now you can see on the navigation display that's our route. Um, 
if I just make it a little bit bigger, you can see all the route all the way to Newcastle. Um, so we go, just gonna check how heavy we are. 66.5, we have uh, 156 passengers today, so we're not a full <coughs> aircraft. So perf in it, 66.5, we'll be using 2.0 tons of uh, reserves. Um, we'll be using a cost index of 20. Uh, you can see here it came up flight level 380. That means with the current weight um, and fuel we can't fly higher than flight level 380. Uh, but it doesn't matter we're going to fly at flight level 360. So now I'm gonna get the um, the weather report. Um, so we have 06942. Okay. Uh, the ISA deviation is. Uh, I'm just gonna enter the trans altitude. Uh, the ISA deviation is actually minus two. First time for a few months that I'm using a minus in the ISA deviation. Like so. And execute. So now we have. Uh, configured uh, how heavy we are etc so we go to n1 limits um, we can use 98.5 actually we can we can be using 98.5 due to we uh, weigh quite a lot and we don't want to derate the takeoff so we're gonna use flaps 5 central gravity 24.2 percent that gives us a trim value of 4.85 there we go 4.85 gonna go to departure so runway 0 for right and we're gonna take the Odin 1 alpha departure so you can see here so when I execute it the uh, pink line will go to here instead of there see so that's our departure. So you can see here. Okay. So now I can go to the takeoff page and we have the V1, VR, and V2 speeds. Like so. So we have 148. Just gonna speed him up a little bit. I'm out for the walk around. Okay. Like so. I'm gonna enter 148 here in speed. Gonna press the flight directors. Uh, one way we can see that I am the captain for today is that little light here has illuminated. That means that I am flying the aircraft. Uh, for example, uh, the first officer would like to fly the airplane. I just turn it off. You can see it went to his side and turn it back on. So now he's flying the aircraft, and um, when he's using the autopilot, it will be Command B instead of Command A. But I'm the captain flying today. Okay, I've set the uh, departure time to 8 o'clock uh, Sulu time, so 10 o'clock local time. So we have about 18 more minutes. Around. Everything looks good. Okay, thank you. Hey, Captain. May we start the boarding now? Yes. Yes. Great. Okay, so he's, she's going to begin the boarding. We can do a little special thing here. Okay, so now we're boarding. Hello. Um, so, the heading I'm going to put in the uh, runway heading which is zero three eight just gonna double check no zero four five zero four five we have initial flight uh, climb to flight level seven zero unfortunately we don't have any ATC today 
Uh, maybe it will show up later, I don't know, but currently we don't have any ATC. Um, so, so it won't be much talking to the towers, but uh, I will be talking a lot, so it doesn't matter for now. So now he's going through the uh, pre-flight main. So now we all have to do is wait. Hello. Welcome um, I'm gonna enter. You should always try to enter as much information in the FMC before the flight as possible. So I looked up the um, arrival Hello. runway, and it's RLS runway two five. So I'm gonna execute it, and we can take a look on the map and see how it looks. Just to see that there's no problems here. Boarding completed. So here you see, not straight. So I'm gonna use a transition. And now he's going through um, the global positioning warning system. So you can just listen. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Terrain. Glide slope. Bank angle. Bank angle. Minimums. 500. 400. 300. 200. 100. 50. 40. So, um, the reason why we can't get a. We can't get a arrival because it's vectoring. Uh, for the runway, so we're gonna fly direct to the airport and then uh, manually fly because we don't have any uh, controllers to vector us. We're gonna arm the LNAV, we can't do that, sorry, because it will be a minimum of 5 degrees and it's currently 7, so that that's why we can't arm the LNAV. It will soon be ready for the pre-flight. So I will get back to you guys when it's time for the pre-flight checklist. So any minute now we will go through the pre-flight checklist. Enter the the local Q and H today. It will be one zero one three. And I'm looking at the. Um, Arrival airport, and we have uh, fog and uh, 13 degrees Celsius. And uh, I'm ready for the checklist. we have scattered clouds at 400 feet, so uh, it could be an interesting approach. Pre flight checklist oxygen. Tested 100%. Instrument transfer and display switches. Normal auto. Window heat. On. Pressurization mode selected. Flight Set. instruments. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Cut off. Pre flight checklist complete. Uh, 
Okay, so that was the uh, pre-flight checklist. So now I'm gonna speed up to <coughs> five. <coughs> Hello, Captain. The passenger boarding is complete. And when you're ready, I have a load seat for you. Okay, thank you. Have a safe flight. So now we're gonna start the APU. Start the APU. Starting APU. So the APU is an uh, an extra engine. So when we uh, disconnect the external or um, external power unit or uh, the ground power unit, sorry. Um, so we still have electricity in the aircraft. So you can see it's exhaust pipe here. So we're using the APU when we are backing out of here when we're not using engines but when we're using engine power then we can shut the APU off so we're gonna wait till it illuminates should soon illuminate APU on the bus. APU is going on the bus. Okay, so now the aircraft is fully using the APU. So now I can uh, disconnect the uh, ground power. So I'm going to contact ground. Cockpit ground. Go ahead. You can disconnect the external air and GPU now. So he's going to disconnect. So I'm just waiting for his uh, signal. Okay, external air and power removed. You're clear to start number two. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we got our um, clearance uh, from the ground. Um, so I'm just going to check there's no other check. Aircraft in our vicinity. Uh, there's actually one. Gonna see where he is. Uh, do you guys see him? Because I don't. Uh, we can check just for fun. Oh, he's texting already. Okay. Okay, so we're ready, um, or almost ready. Hey, Captain, cabin is ready to go. Okay, thank you. If you need anything, just let me know. Yes. So the main exit is closing, so I can uh, press F6. Thank you, Captain, and uh, the turbine pin has been removed. See you on the left side. Okay, thank you. We're gonna start the pushback, so uh, the jetway is gonna disconnect. Gonna go through uh, the departure brief. Are you ready for the departure brief? I'm ready for the brief. Okay, we'll be taking off from runway 04 right using Oddnet 1 Alpha departure. Um, the runway condition is wet. We'll be using flaps 5 for takeoff. Um, we'll be using noise abatement 1. Engine bleeds will be on. Uh, Anti ice will not be required. The weather for the flight looks great. Um, we have a little bit of fog uh, at uh, Newcastle, but it should have cleared before uh, we get there. Any questions? No questions. Departure brief complete. Okay. Before start procedures. Check. So we got our clearance uh, to taxi, but I'm gonna wait till uh, my first officer is done with the um, before start. I'm ready for the checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door. 
closed and locked. Fuel. Set. Passenger signs. On. Windows. Locked. MCP. Speed 148. Heading 045. Altitude 7000. Take off speeds. V1 137. VR 139. V2 148. CDU free flight. Completed. Completed. Rudder and aileron trim. Free and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Anti collision light. On. Before start checklist complete. Okay, so we're ready for uh, pushback. Gonna tell the cabin. Cabin crew arm slides. Start sequence will be two, then one. Check. Okay, so we're gonna release the parking brake using my feet. Okay, okay so here we go. Back. Start engine number two. Starting number two. So now I'm just gonna wait for the end tier to get up to 25%, and then I'm gonna uh, press number two here so we can get fuel. Like so. Park and brake set. Starter cut out. Start engine number one. Starting number one. Tow equipment is removed. Starter cut out. Okay. Flaps five. Check. The um, taxi checklist and uh, a few other things, then we're ready to go. Take off flaps set. I am ready for the checklist. Before taxi checklist. Generators. Pro peak. On. Anti ice. Off. Isolation valves. Auto. Engine start switches. Continuous. Recall. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start levers. 
Idle the tent. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Before taxi check is complete. Bye bye. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. Okay, so I'm slowly gonna advance the thralls so we can get a smooth starter roll. And we are on our way. See it from outside. Gonna taxi uh, pretty slow uh, till we get out of the uh, tech, um, terminal zone. Select taxi light on. Traffic, no traffic there, no traffic there. So we have two choices of taxi. Uh, I'm gonna go straight all over and uh, the runway here, and then follow. Uh, I believe it's Charlie. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks. Captain, the cabin secured. Okay. Thank you. As you can see here, we're going to make a little left turn and then a direct right turn. Or actually, we can... Um, we can actually go straight down and make a right here onto Bravo Every time we enter a runway, we should have the strobes on. So I'm gonna turn them on. Select strobes on. Check. Check from the traffic. The traffic. The traffic. Select strobes off. Check. Okay, so now we're on our way. Full takeoff checklist. Flaps. Set. Stabilizer trim. 4.9 units. Before takeoff checklist completed. Cabin crew, take your seats. So we're gonna turn left at Bravo 3. You can see it's Bravo 4 here.
okay so now we're gonna slow down a little bit you should always try to take a pretty tight corner in uh, seven to nine knots so it can uh, be comfortable for uh, the passengers Runway entry procedures. Check. Clear on the approach. Ready to go. Check. Okay, so now I'm going to set the clock. Take off. Check. Advance to 40. I see, so we have green lights. Got my auto throttle arm. Toga. Check. Here we go. Sets. Check. Eighty knots. Check. B one. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Gear up. Flaps too. Flaps too. Select V nav. V nav. Gear up. Lights up. Select L nav. L nav. Flaps. Flaps up. Flaps up. Flaps up. I'm ready for the checklist. Off the takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds on. Packs. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps. Up. No lights. After takeoff checklist. Set flight level 300. Transition altitude, altimeter is 1013. Check. Flight level 300 seconds. Check.
set heading 285. Select Command A. Command A. Okay, so we're now on our way. Everything looks great so far. You can see we're leaving. Uh, Copenhagen behind and steady climbing uh, towards Newcastle So I'm going to get back to you guys when we are at the cruise level of uh, 360. So as you can see here we are approaching our cruise level of uh, flight level 360. Um, we are currently still over Denmark. Um, you can see right here. We took off from here, so we have a bit more, quite far to go. The new castle is here. So uh, I don't have so much information for you guys right now. I can, I can check the weather for Newcastle. Let's see. Uh, it has gone from. From foggy to partly cloudy, so it will be a great approach with about five knots of wind. So um, you can join me again when we are approaching uh, our top of descent. Okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see, we are about 30 nautical miles from our uh, top of descent. So. There's a few things that I need to do before that. So it's um, altitude, flight level 300, 200, 100. Um, let me say, put this to 050, so it's flight level. Okay, let me check the winds. This will help the aircraft to calculate when it's top of descent should be four zero six zero eight three six and three oh three twenty okay so I'm just gonna check a few things and we need to know uh, the ease of deviation so I'm gonna go online and go to sky vector and check the altitude of the airport. Okay, so the altitude is 266. So 
we have a standard 15 degrees so I'm just gonna see the temperature so it's 14 so it's the ESA is minus 1 minus 1 and the QNH is 1018 Okay, like so. So the final thing I'm gonna check is the uh, transition level. So I'm gonna look that up right now. So the transition altitude is 6,000. So it's flight level 60. Okay, so we're all sorted for the descent. As you can see, we've been flying for 50 minutes. I'm just going to show you where we are. So we're in the middle of the sea here. And we have, considering right now, we have decision height of 404 feet. So, I'm going to enter it in the briefing. We can say vectored. Uh, we're not vectored, but uh, we're not using a star either. Like so. Uh, we'll be using flaps 30 and a break 3. Okay. Set flight level 100. Flight level 100 set. Okay, so I'm uh, struggling, struggling a little bit with the FMC. I think there is um, an error somewhere because I can't change anything. Even if I like to change the runway, I can't even change the runway. Um, so I don't know why that is. Um, so I'm manually gonna try to uh, land the aircraft. As you can see here, uh, there was an error. I'm gonna show you here. So I would like not to do this. I'd like to go direct. So I'd like to fly direct from Robin to Charlie Fox 25, but I can't for some reason um, I have no re uh, no 
I don't know why. I should normally take that one and put it in there, but I can't. And I can't fly direct either. I don't know what's wrong so I have to do it the old-fashioned way so I'm gonna check the uh, the shards and see what I can get out of that are you ready for the approach brief okay okay we will be arriving by ATC vectors as for the approach, we can expect the visual. Landing runway condition is dry. Anti-ice is not required. Landing flap will be 30. Motor brake, we will use level 3. Engine bleeds will be on. Position height will be 404 feet. Any questions? No questions. Approach brief complete. So we're gonna commence a little the steep descent checklist. Pressurization, landing altitude, two, five, zero, feet, recall, checked, auto brake, level three, landing data, V ref, one, four, six, minimums, four, zero, four, feet, approach briefing completed, descent checklist complete. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna have to do this uh, manually uh, because uh, I don't think that it will follow this because I can't change anything. I can't even change origin. So if I'd like to say, oh, now I could. Okay, so maybe we can do this again. Okay, so I'm gonna take the... Uh, continue my descent. Go through, so it will be... Actually, gonna put in Rodum. Um. Instead. Okay, so we fly direct. Not good. Now we should be able to put in. There we go. Okay. So now that's better. So now we need to a little steeper descent because we are too high a little bit so now we can press the L nav again okay so now we're on track I don't know why that happened um, but we are on our way This 
gonna check so there if there is any ATC. No. So now we are descending uh, with 2,800 feet vertical speed. It sounds a lot, but it's not so much. So I'm gonna put in the ILS frequency. I think I already did. 111 decimal five. 111 decimal five. Okay. So you can see we're getting closer. are going down and still a uh, safe way um, just doing a steep descent Okay, so now I'm going to try to slow down a little bit. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. So the speed is going to the speed is going to go down. Okay, we're actually gonna do a little bit of a turn here, so we can lose some altitude. Uh, this happens time to time uh, in real life as well, that uh, the aircraft comes in a little bit too fast, so they need to make a little bit of a turn.
now you can see we are closing up uh, the speed product. is great and um, it looks a lot better now so now we can make the turn soon we can make the turn back Keeping a good speed, so that's important. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks. Yes. Captain, the captain secure. Thank you. Transition level. QNH 1018 QNH 1018 Altimitus 1018 Altimitus 1018 Okay, so you can see that we are having uh, Volok on standby, or armed, so we're just waiting for it to turn green, so we are on the uh, localizer. So now we can use a little bit of speed brake. Good speed. Set altitude fifteen hundred feet. Okay, so we're on our way down now. Everything looks good. A little bit high, but we you can see we're going down pretty quickly. Even though we only have 1,400 feet vertical speed. Check. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps one. Cabin crew, take your seats. As soon as we go through uh, Charlie Fox or 25, uh, we can, it will be armed. Flaps 2. Flaps 2. 25,000 to go. Approach checklist. Altimeters 1, 0, 1, 8. 
set. Approach check is complete. Flaps five. Flaps five. So now you can see it's armed, so I'm gonna press approach. Gear down. Gear down. Flaps 10. Flaps 10. Now you can see the gear is coming out. We can reduce the speed brake, we can arm the speed brake. We should have a visual on the runway uh, when we get under a thousand feet. Flaps 15. Flaps 15. Landing checklist. Engine stop switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Stand by for the flaps. So now the approach, uh, we have uh, the ILS, the glide slope. So now I'm manually going to land uh, the aircraft. Five hundred feet. Check. Continue. Continue. Check. Landing. Check. Minimums. Fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Speed brakes up. Check. Reverse speed. Check. Sixty knots. Manual braking. Check. Okay, so welcome to uh, Newcastle. Okay, to clean up. Looks like the first gate is clear, so I'm gonna go for that one. APU is online. APU on the bus. APU is going on the bus. Select taxi light off. Okay. Cabin through to some slides. slides. So we are here. Ready for shutdown. Shut 
check. Yes? Captain, all flights are disarmed. Check. Okay, thank you. Shutdown checklist. Go ahead. Yes. 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 Okay, so we're gonna put the uh, ground connection. Like so, we can shut down the APU. Shut down checklist. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps. Off. Probe heat. Probe heat. Off. Hydraulic panel. Set. Flaps. Flaps. Up. Parking brake. Set. Engine start leases. Cut off. Weather radar. Weather radar. Off. Shut down checklist Shutdown complete. Checklist. Okay. Secure the aircraft, please. Stand by. Stand by. So he's turning the IRS to off and uh, turning off the window heat and uh, the air conditioning. I'm ready for and, the checklist. Uh, yeah. Securing aircraft checklist. IRS is off. Emergency exit lights off. Window heat off. Packs off. Securing aircraft checklist complete. Okay, so the only thing I need to do here is to turn off the ground power and the battery switch. Check. Check. So. Safely landed at Newcastle. Um, I'd like to say thank you uh, for joining me on this flight. And uh, if you'd like me to do uh, more tutorial requested flights, just leave a comment below and I will try to do them as fast as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!